In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. As the Jewish people were traveling through the desert, they complained. They complained because they didn't like the food, the manna. And they were really discouraged. Moses also said, Lord, I don't even want to live anymore. This is too much for me. So both Moses and the people complained. Do you ever complain? You probably do. How often do you complain? When do you complain? Why do you complain? Complaining. Now this may sound strange to you, but when we go through frustrations, weariness, questioning, we've got a lot of suffering, be it physical, moral, emotional, whatever it might be. We should bring our complaints to God. Jesus said this, Come to me, all of you are weary, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, because I am meek and humble of heart. For you will find rest for your souls, because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So we can come to Jesus with our burdens in our sufferings, in our frustrations, in our angers, in our doubts. There's no reason why we can come to the Lord and we can tell Jesus Christ about our sufferings. There's nothing wrong with that. Actually, that's a good prayer. Because the Lord knows what's happening in our lives. He knows even our thoughts. He knows even the most secret intentions of our hearts. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ knows them. He knows us. He knows our hearts even more than we know ourselves. We are sometimes a mystery unto ourselves. We're, we are an enigma, a mystery unto ourselves. But God knows us. He loves us. He wants to walk with us. He wants to accompany us. He wants to be our friend. He wants to encourage us. He wants us to get to heaven. Like the disciples on the road to Emmaus, they had some complaints, and Jesus walked with them, and Jesus listened to them. He listened patiently to them, and then after that, he talked to them, and he encouraged them. And they went from desolation to consolation, because they're able to unload with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So we all go through frustrations and difficult times. Let's complain to the Lord. Remember what the first Pope, St. Peter, said in one of his letters. He says, cast your cares upon the Lord because he watches over you. And finally, turn to Mary. Mary is your mother. She loves you. Turn to her. And we say that beautiful prayer. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Amen.